is Brown Swanson. Thanks for tuning in to this RPV TV update. I am bringing you a special report from the Palos Verdes Nature Preserve with their ongoing efforts in our city to help restore the endangered Palos Verdes blue butterfly. They're the Palos Verdes blue butterfly, which means the only place that we will be releasing is the historic range. Hi, I'm Janet Johnson, and we have just completed an awesome release of very fat, hungry caterpillars to the wild. They are endangered caterpillars. I will probably refer to them as larvae because that's the more sciencey professor term. The caterpillars we released today were immediately chowing down on the beautiful food plant that has been restored here on the peninsula, which is the only place this very rare butterfly occurs. And it is the only place that this rare butterfly has occurred for over 10,000 years. We're part of the Butterfly Project at Moore Park College and America's Teaching Zoo. Uh, today we came out here to release uh, pupa or cocoons and larvae, which are the little inchworm looking things that turn into butterflies. Um, I really enjoy this work because it's what I've come to know my entire life and it's giving back to the environment, it's helping to recover a species that was thought extinct for over 11 years. It's been super rewarding. We put in lots of work over the fall and in through spring, uh, rearing these butterflies and taking care of them. You know, every day is an on day. And then at the end of the season we get to come out and release butterflies, release larvae, and it's so rewarding to see you know, the end product of everything that we've put so much work into. And it's awesome to see these little pockets of habitat that are being restored when we thought that these bugs were gone for good. My favorite part of the learning process was being able to identify the difference between the female and male butterflies. They're very small, dimorphic uh, qualities of the butterflies that you have to look for, but it's in the way they walk and the way their wings look. It's uh, it's awesome to get to know how to do that. It's just a joyous day as the partners come together and I bring the captive bugs and my students who have put in hours and hours of labor get to release those juveniles that they raised in captivity to the wild. And we couldn't do that if it wasn't for the actions of the cities such as Rancho Palos Verdes and uh, LA and the actions of nonprofits such as the Conservancy. Hi, my name is Chris Sarabia and I'm the Conservation Director with the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy. And uh, my role here is to uh, create a habitat for the Palos Verdes Blue Butterfly to, to survive and thrive. The, the habitat that the Palos Verdes Blue Butterfly uh, survives and, and lives off of is coastal sage scrub and there's two plants in particular that it uses. Uh, one is rattle pod and the other is deerweed and these are very special plants, very specific plants that the butterfly needs to uh, complete its full life cycle on. And so we plant a lot of that in all of our projects. And with today's release, uh, you see that uh, the butterflies now have the plants, the habitat they need to, to do their thing, to survive, to mate, to lay their eggs, and just complete their life cycle like they once did. My name is Taylor Fox with the City of Ranch Palos Verdes. I'm the Senior Park Ranger in the Open Space Management Division. Um, so today we had um, a release of uh, pupae and larva um, and uh, I was uh, a part of that today I got to put a couple of, uh, of those little guys out on the plants um, it's a first time for me uh, previously I've only dealt with uh, the actual butterflies themselves um, so this is uh, kind of the next step in that process we have trails in our nature preserve and one of the things that's very important is staying on trail uh, one of the consequences of going off trail is that you can inadvertently damage habitat, um, other native plants. Um, the big one in this case would be the, ha the host plant for the Palos Verdes blue butterfly. Um, and as we learned today, we uh, had to put the host, the, uh, the larva on that host plant. Um, so in the vicinity of those plants is where um, where those larvae would be and staying on trail is going to help um, all those involved um, continue the population to grow. Uh, we're very optimistic that we can um, uh, save this butterfly. It shows that the, the team effort between the city of RPV, the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy, um, and then all the, 
rearing partners with the butterfly. Um, and then the community, right, that comes out and volunteers with us and helps us to do this work, it really does show that we can make a difference together. And it, it's a, it is a community effort. It is a partnership. And everyone needs to be involved so that we can all make this uh, change uh, for the environment. There's a group of scientists who do the surveys. And they come back and they check to see what they see flying and we communicate so that they know once we've started releases um, because we want to make sure as to whether or not we're seeing them stick that we're seeing flight of butterflies from past releases. The good news is that we have been releasing to the wild every single year since 2008 and we release in more and more and more spots and as we release in more and more spots, the likelihood of this butterfly going extinct goes down. Okay, so in about a year from now, we'll know just how these caterpillars did. It's one day at a time and one butterfly at a time. Thank you for joining us here on this RPV TV update. See you next time.